I'm Camden Chamberlain from The Suicide Cycles, and I eat, sleep, and breathe music. Welcome to episode one. Some introductions are in order. Hi, my name is Camden Chamberlain, and I front a band called The Suicide Cycles. I've been consumed by pretty much all aspects of music for a good 15 to 20 years now. Writing music for TV and film, playing in bands, going to concerts, putting on shows, and even running a professional recording studio for the past eight years. I live in this crazy art and music space called the Kite Fishing House, and with this show, my friends, roommates, bandmates, and I are going to give you a look inside our world of making music, art, parties, videos, you name it. Every week we're going to dive right into the artistic world around us, showing you everything that's inspiring us right now, and maybe even some of the stuff that's uninspiring. But like I said, this first episode is all about introductions. I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes, we're all polygamous here. And believe it or not, it is by choice. Because this place is as quirky as a prostitute in church. Wow, my eyebrows disappear in this light. I started out playing rock music at 15 in backyards like most aspiring musicians out there. Yeah, that was me. I taught myself all the tools of the trade over the years. Guitar, bass, little drums, little keyboards, vocals. But first and foremost, I'm a producer. I learned a lot of great songwriting and producing lessons from Mark Kendall of the 80s butt rock band Grape White. What? Yeah, I know. Yes, they are the band that lit that nightclub in Rhode Island on fire and killed a bunch of people. But Mark's a really solid guy, and he had nothing to do with that part of the show. Anyway, tangent! Wait, you know the one. Great white. Once bitten, twice shy. That's the only thing I knew by them when I first met him. Tangent! So I've been writing music under the name Cave Doll for about five years now. We've got about 20 albums out on iTunes. Check it out. We just released a best of album, in fact. Figured it was time after 20 albums of material. Good God. Now, while I'm still doing Cave Doll with my studly friends Josh, Zach, and Van, I've got a new project called The Suicide Cycles. And I'm as giddy as a Japanese schoolgirl about it. This guy plays drums, that guy plays guitar, and yours truly, I kind of do it all, except drums. Now let's cut over to Rob's window. Rob's window. Thanks, Cam. My name's Robert John Roke. I am now the guitar player in the Suicide Cycles as of the last, like, five days. And tonight, I am playing my first show with this band. About five days ago, Camden said, start listening to the Suicide Cycles so that we don't all look like idiots when you get up on stage and try and play guitar. So, I decided instead that I was going to listen to Van Farlow's Reservoir and drink whiskey. <laughs> the Reservoir is a great CD if you haven't had a chance to check it out. Fan Farlow does some really awesome pop orchestration. Their singer is just kind of a badass and floats right over the top of all of it. They remind me a lot of kind of a throwback to uh, the Talking Heads type of music, a band that's out of time but unique in their own way. Singer Simon Balthazar has a really haunting voice, really pretty. That and alcoholism is going to help me prepare for tonight's gig. The uh, Reservoir CD is available at your local internet now for download or purchase i suppose and uh we will see how the uh, preparation works out tonight yeah i know now for the month of november i want everybody to think of the most kick-ass song title you can submit it to us on our youtube page and i'm gonna pick my favorite to make a song out of who knows it might even make it onto the first suicide cycles album due out soon now if you want your song to have a good chance of being picked do your homework. Go to cavedoll.com or thesuicycles.com and look at some of our other song titles. I'm not going to be picking my favorite just off of novelty value. I'm going to be picking the one that sounds the coolest to my ear and really inspires me. After all, I'm going to have to write music and lyrics based around your idea. And with the way I write, your song title will almost certainly be in the chorus, so choose well, please. Next episode, I'm going to be introducing you a little bit more to the Suicide Cycles, giving you a behind-the-scenes look at our rehearsals, songwriting process, I don't know, whatever we do. But before we leave, I'm going to be giving our guitar player, Robert Roke, his very first public art show. Take it away, Rob. I can see the future. Oh, what the? Until next time, keep jamming, friends.